Thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to present uh, on the Mapping USA. Um, I'm Willie, um, I'm the creator and maintainer of FOSMCHA. So, uh, to those that does not know, does not know what FOSMCHA is, uh, it's a validation tool for opposite map. So, you can filter the change sets uh, using uh, a lot of options. And yes, with that, you can find the change sets that interest you. You can also save the filters and have here your list of uh, your the, the filters that uh, interest you. And yes, you can visualize the features directly uh, uh, on the browser. See. Uh, and I'll, like uh, inspect uh, each feature that was created, modified, or deleted on the chain set. You can interact with it, uh, see the tags, the metadata, and also see the comments, uh, post comments to the chain set, some information about the user as well. And <clears throat> Also, we have uh, some flagged features that we, we list here on the tab. Also, you can see those uh, blue tags that are some information. We run a lot of checks uh, on the chain sets, on the features, uh, on the user as well, and try to identify some possible problems uh, with the chain sets. So, uh, yes, it's, uh, you can also mark the chain sets as good or bad, so the others can see if a chain set was already checked, check, check it. And yes, yeah, so SMCHA is used by the same community, by Mabox, and by other companies as well. Uh, and the URL is uh, smcha.org. So on the recent months, we had a lot of developments on SMCHA. Uh, we have some cool new features. And yes, I will present here uh, some of those new features. Um, we are now registering a lot more information about the chain sets. So recently, uh, some editors like ID and Rapid started adding um, some additional metadata to the chain sets. Like, for example, the chain sets count, that uh, is the number of, number of chain sets that they, that user has made uh, until the time that uh, they created that chain set. Also, hashtags, uh, the host, that is the, the website that was hosting Rapid or ID. And, or the information like the locale. So we start registering all, all the metadata available to the chain set, and then you can filter using any of that information. So if you don't find a specific, a specific uh, field on the form, you can use the other metadata. And for example, to the numeric fields, we have the double underscore max, the double underscore mean, uh, to set uh, range of uh, chain sets count that is useful to to find chain sets from less experienced less ex experienced users or medium or, or uh, very experienced users. Also, like for example, the locale, the hashtags. Um, we have the asterisk option that uh, filter any value of that tag and also the host, for example, to find all the change that's made on the OSMUS task manager. We also start registering the number of comments of each change set, so you can set that, that threshold, that range of comments, and yes, change sets with a high number of comments indicates that there was some discussion that are uh, in like some possible problem on that change set. The change set list has uh, improved the view. Uh, on SMCHA, we have uh, the trusted users list. 
and the watch list. Uh, the first one is like users that you trust and possibly you, you don't want to review the change sets because uh, you trust them. And the watch list that is like some users that you saw some problems on the on the change sets and yes, you can give more attention. So we show that information with the the star to the trust user and that red icon to the what listed user. And also the number of comments that we, we see here, the user that has reviewed the change set previously. Also, we have an integration between MapBullet and OSMchar. So as we check, uh, we have some checks on the features. Uh, we can set a, a MapBullet challenge to, to some, uh, some flag, and then all the features that are, are flagged because of that specific flag uh, are uploaded to MapBullet, and then uh, people can review it using MapRoulette. So you can, if you have some idea of a new flag, uh, we can like uh, add those flags to SMCHAR and then also configure the integration to MapRoulette. Uh, we improved the tag chains. Um, now, uh, besides the, the name of the tag, the, the, the tag key, uh, we've, we show the value of the the tag, so you can see here like uh, what was the the short name value that were, were added, or the the change on the values or the deleted tag value. We have some some new tabs, uh, a list of features that had some change on the geometry. Um, it's separated by type. Also, the other features like uh, created, deleted, or modified. Um, here, you can also like open all or close all, or also navigate using the tab button on your keyboard. Like you just press tab, and it, it goes from one feature to the other. The handling is a bit slow now, but uh, yes, normally it's good. Uh, Yes, so thank you very much. Uh, you can contact me on Twitter, by email, or on GitHub. And also thanks, Mapbox, for the support on development of uh, SMCHA or, or Josias. So thank you very much.